Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this warm and snuggly fleece blanket. It has cotton batting on the inside so it's perfect for those cold winter months. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a lap quilt size. So it's about 41 by 53 inches when it's done, but you can make it any size that you want. So if you want to make it larger and you're not sure how to calculate your fabric, there's a link below the YouTube screen that you can go to to help you calculate the amount of fabric you would need for whatever size you want to make it. So let's get started. You will need the following supplies. For the lap quilt size, you will need three yards of flannel. Also cotton batting and batting comes in a variety of packages or you can buy it off of the bolt so you have to read the size of the batting inside of that package to make sure you get a piece large enough I recommend that you get a piece that's 43 inches by 55 inches take your fabric and fold it in half and smooth it out and make sure it's really even. At your fold line, way down here, put a pin to mark the center fold. Then unfold the fabric and make sure your fabric is smoothed out. And on that center fold where your pin is, for instance, Here's my pin right here. So I'm going to put my ruler on that pin center line. So there it is. I'm going to remove the pin. Make sure your ruler is straight on your fabric. And then cut it in half. Now I'm going to cut the selvage edges off. That's this white section here. You can either stack your two sections together and cut them off at the same time or take one section at a time and cut it off. So you're just going to try to keep your ruler as straight as possible and go down that edge and cut the selvage edges off. Now layer all of your fabrics together. So place your cotton batting down first. Then take one layer of your flannel and place it on top with the right side facing up the pretty side. So always remember pretty side is up. Now take your second layer of flannel fabric and you're going to put the pretty side facing down, the right side, and lay them on top. Now make sure you smooth your fabric out. One of the little tips I can give you on smoothing fabric is to take a ruler, a long one like this, and glide it across your fabric. Now don't squeeze the fabric, stretching it out of shape. Just gently glide it and it will smooth out all of your layers. If you find after smoothing it out that your layers are not quite even with each other, then take your ruler line it up and trim those edges straight. Now mine were just a little crooked here and there so I did have to straighten mine out. Now I'm going to round my corners. So take anything round, whether it's a little bowl or a small dish, a lid to a jar, and just lay it in there and when the sides, when the edges of your template hit the edge of your fabric, then you want to go ahead and draw a line around it. So just lay that there. I'm using a, a pen because it shows up better on camera. And then after you do that, you want to go ahead and trim it off. So do that to all of your corners. Place straight pins around all of your edges. On one side only, somewhere in the middle, leave a relatively large opening because you're going to use this opening later to turn it front side out. 
So on all four edges, do a one quarter inch seam in from the raw edge. So come in one quarter inch and stitch all the way around. Now on each side of the opening, make sure you do back stitches on each so side of the opening so it doesn't come apart when you turn it front side out. I also recommend, because this is so thick, that you increase your stitch length to 3.0. I'm going to give you a little tip on how to control this blanket when you are at your sewing machine. So here's my opening, and I'm going to start down here on this side of the opening. So you don't want anything covering up this edge here. So I'm going to go straight across and grab the other side of the blanket and pull it up towards where the opening is. But don't cover your opening, because remember you're going to stitch along here. Then fold it up again, like this. And then if you need to, you can even fold it again like that. And you're going to find it's really easy to control this when you are stitching. Here's one more tip for controlling it at your sewing machine. So as you're stitching and you've got all of this here and it's hanging over the edge of your sewing table and maybe you don't have a machine that sits down in the table, to help control it even more, fold it over like this and stitch. And every time you come down a little bit, you unfold it a little bit. And when you get down to the end, take it out of your machine and then fold it up on the other edge so you can continue all the way around. At all of your corners, you're going to go around the curve and do little clips. Now make sure you do not cut through your stitch line, so you want to stay back just a little bit and clip around the entire curved corner. Reach in between your two layers of flannel and begin pulling it front side out. So I'm reaching down to that first corner there and pulling it out and you just keep going around until you have it all turned front side out. Reach back in through your opening and now push against all of the edges, especially around those corners to get them to smooth out. At the opening, fold your edges inside a quarter inch and then use pins to hold it closed. I've also placed pins around all of the edges. Now go in and come in about an eighth of an inch from the edge and begin stitching all the way around all four sides. Again, one eighth of an inch in. Smooth the blanket out on both sides. Take large safety pins like this and scatter them all over the top. Oh, maybe eight inches apart or so because we're going to do a very basic quilt stitch pattern. Not very complicated and it's very quick to do. So scatter them all over the top. This is a suggested quilt stitch pattern. You're going to do three lines going across this way and three lines going across this way. Your first stitch line will be down the center then you'll go over either side and stitch a line, then go over and stitch a line. Then you'll turn your blanket, stitch one down the center, go over and stitch a line, and go over and stitch a line. Now I'm going to show you how I fold it 
and get it ready to stitch. Fold the blanket in half and put a pin up here on the center fold and then unfold it. So wherever this pin is, this is your center stitch line. Now because I'm using plaid, this is really easy because all I'm doing is picking one of these lines that's nearest my pin mark and just stitching all the way down. After you've done that row, now of course you need to go over here. So to find the center for that, bring the edge of your blanket to the center stitch line where you just stitched, put a pin here, and that is the mark for your next stitch line. So again, pick a line uh, if you're using plaid and stitch all the way down. Then go to the other side, do the same thing, bring it into that center line, put a pin here to mark that center section, and then stitch all the way down. When you're done stitching the lines going this way, now turn the blanket and fold it in half to find the center and repeat all of the steps again. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're interested in other types of blankets and quilts, check below your YouTube screen for those video links. Thanks for watching and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl, and this is Scotty, and this is Manny. See you next time, and happy sewing!